Good evening. Uh, welcome to Karl Marx Does the Washing Up, where we ponder ludicrous metaphysical nonsense in the time it takes to make five Tesco's basic microwave meals, <laughs> which is around 21 minutes. Uh, it is indeed. Um, I'm Elias Kassam. I'm Shai Telly. And today is, we're very excited. Yeah, very, very, very excited. Because excited uh, we've got our first ever guest with us today, and it is international criminal, <laughs> queen of free love, star of Wild Wild Country, Ma Adnan Sheila. Okay. So welcome. Um, yeah. My pleasure. Oh, that's <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean... Thank you for having us. Yeah, thank you, thank you. This thank is you. amazing. Yeah, so yeah. we're in uh, Maastricht in Switzerland. In um, our home. In, a, in uh, yeah, Man and Sheila's home. We're in her bedroom. In her bed. Yeah. So and there's like pictures of Bhagwan. Yeah. And, uh, her father. father. Yeah. Yeah. And grandchildren. Yeah. And it's just like, we've, we've read quite a lot about you and watched this and it's, it's not all positive. Yeah. And you, but like our first impression is just one of kindness, like love and yeah. kindness and, and welcoming. And so accommodating. Yeah. So you have to live with your first impression. Of course. Okay. Don't listen to what people say. Yeah. That's where we all make mistake. Others' opinion is opinion. And what is reality is reality. Okay. So should we dismiss our second opinion? Uh, yeah. Second <laughs> no, but also judgment. I was going to ask you what you think love is. But now you said that. Should yeah. I just dismiss what you say about love? I'll just ignore what you say. <laughs> no, he's saying like the first impression. Uh, we, don't need to, we don't need to judge you on our second impression. We'll just stick to the first one. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just a very nice lady. <laughs> Thank you. I accept. Yeah. Um, that is how I feel also. <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I think, yeah, yeah, mostly that you actually even understand us is It's a big moment. Quite yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, but, so, so it's perfect yeah. that we're here, right? There's pictures of Bhagwan. You're drinking champagne with him in that photo. Um, and when you watch the show, there does seem to be a real love, especially coming from you towards Bhagwan. Yeah. Did you feel love coming back from Bhagwan towards you? It is not a question of love from him. How it was important for me how I felt. Yeah. And I felt this overwhelming feeling which you cannot describe in any form or shape. What I felt was unconditional. I could not run away from this feeling. I could not block this feeling. I could not hide it. It was just ever present. Wow. That's, and that's, that's a really good description of what love is. Okay. Yeah. When did, when did you become like con- like yeah. conscious of this feeling yeah. towards Bhagavan? Immediately. Immediately. When I met him in Woodlands... When I was 21, 22 year old. Because okay. the... you, you grew up in the Rajneshi uh, commune, right? No, 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 no. Father no. Introduced them, yeah. uh, no, my father also yeah. did not grow up, but my father valued Bhagwan's wisdom. Yeah, okay. And introduced me to him. And during this introduction, it was wow. Yeah. This overwhelming feeling that took over my entire being. And then I didn't understand myself this feeling. I go next day to Bhagwan and I say, Bhagwan, I don't know what's happening to me. But all I can do is think of you. I Talk to kid, I'm talking about you. I talk to adults, I talk about you. I can't fall asleep because I'm talking you are in my thoughts. Wow. Okay. I can't eat because you are present in my being. Okay. Oh, wow. But that makes it seem almost unhealthy. Like, obsession. like, like an obsession no. rather than a love. No. And that's when Bhagwan looked at me, smiled at me, and said, Sila, 
That is because you are madly in love with her. <laughs> <laughs> the arrogance, the arrogance. Such a, the arrogance. It's love also this. such a good Bhagwan uh, 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 impression, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, and because it was because. so true that yeah. I was madly in love yeah. with him. Okay. And then this madness turned into devotion. This madness... Okay turned into creativity. Okay, and like... Some, this like a, yeah. madness brought me closer to myself. And you understood more of yourself as right. a Right. And I did not expect Bhagwan to be something else than he is. Or he was. Yeah. But it was me who had to learn about every facet of Bhagwan as part of my love. That's really fascinating because if we were being cynical, and you know, if I said to Ilyas, I met this girl and I can't stop thinking about her. I just say nonsense. Yeah, you'd be like, <laughs> you'd be, he would say, you know, this is just infatuation. And then it becomes dependence. Like we use all these other words instead yeah. of love. So if I said to you, you know, maybe you were just infatuated with Bhagwan and then maybe it became a sort of dependency or an obsession, what would you Well, say? there are people who may think that, but that is not my problem. That's true. Okay. <laughs> I was in very you, clear in, the, yeah. in myself. Okay. If it was dependency, then so be it. But that felt right. Okay. If it felt was... Right. Yeah, that's a big thing. Feeling yeah. that feeling yeah. and feeling right. I felt very grounded with this feeling. Okay. But because really? you said, I think... Yeah. The, and maybe... I felt rooted in okay. this feeling. Yeah. Okay. I guess the thing that would seem like for me when, yeah. when you were talking about it unstabilizing a little bit is when you say, I couldn't eat, I wouldn't eat because I was yeah. thinking about him. And yet like that doesn't sound so grounded, right? Yeah. As a... But it was in that moment. But it felt right. It felt, felt oh, this right. Is... Okay. okay. That's amazing because I because I've gone to yeah. yeah, and it is how it was. It is how it is. Even today, when I think back, and if it was not true love or love that I felt, true or not true doesn't matter. I would be a bitter woman like many other relationships. Yeah, yeah. That's true. But also, it doesn't really matter what we call it. The fact is that you had you this sensory it. experience yeah. which just felt right yeah. and worth pursuing. It doesn't matter whether, whatever we call it, obsession, exactly. love, or whatever. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Call it, it what you want to. Yeah. But it was the feeling that mattered. Right? It yeah. was a wonderful Pure. feeling. Yeah. And I live with that feeling even today. And the thing is that like you, you alluded to it, you said it didn't even matter what he felt for you. It right. didn't even matter that it was reciprocated or not. Mm-hmm. And is that, is that maybe what true love is? Like you just have this feeling for someone. And you just give even, and give. You just give and give and it doesn't even matter if they give. Exactly. I wasn't expecting anything than what he is. And when he gave me something, I took it as a bonus. Okay. Because I never expected it. So the disappointment was never there. Okay. There was only... But at the end, it was only joy. quite disappointing. Right. Right? Yeah. No, it was hurtful. Right. Disappointed I was not mm-hmm. because I understood him well why he did it. Okay. And why he did it? Because he had to hold on to his following. Okay. Yeah. Without his following, he was then only a man. Okay. But also, and that's a, yeah. Was the and this following had offered him the luxuries that he wanted. Oh, okay. ninety rolls. Do so you the, think there was a lot of ego involved in it? Oh. Or? I don't even care. It doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> yeah. exactly. Well, we okay. were saying, but that doesn't. Yeah, de- it's still an act of love that he would go out of his way to say something negative about you. We were saying that's still an act of love. 
that you chose to speak the fact that you had so much way. I don't Impact even have to justify yeah, you, you, what he did. Yeah. What he did is not my problem. Okay, I suffered the problems. Yeah, okay. I am being called the international criminal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even I today, I did, I did after call you <laughs> serving 39 months of prison, yeah. people can't stop their opinion. But that's not an issue. He has to live with what he has done. I have to live with what I do. And I am living wonderful. Yeah, yeah you are living, you yeah, are living, living a very living beautiful life. These biscuits are very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I hope you realize we're not going to leave. We're going yeah. to stay here stay. now. We're, we're going to stay here. No problem. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> no problem. This is kind of, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I, I don't know. I think... Uh, I don't know. It's a... But, so what, what, what do you think is the difference between this like, feeling that, of love that you're talking about for Bhagwan and then like, this love for your parents that you talk about? Or the love for your patients that you talk about? It's the same thing. It's the same? Okay. Same thing. The love, the feeling of this love that I feel, I think... I have learned from my parents as a child. Then it was given expression when I met Bhagwan. That was a completion of that love. And love that I feel now for my patient. This is before it was focused on Bhagwan, yeah. now it is Sounds focused okay. on everybody. Okay. Would, uh, would you, was there like a romantic uh, like energy to your love for Bhagwan? Or? Oh, definitely. I, it, every form or shape I could express my feeling, I did. For example, we are flying out of India and it was for me a celebration. Yeah. And champagne is the best way to <laughs> celebrate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, well, you were saying my that. celebration yeah. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, I yeah. open up a bottle of champagne yeah. and pour it for Bhagwan. Yeah, yeah. The spirituals who were around were they shocked? Were shocked. They were not happy. <laughs> and, but Bhagwan knew where I was coming from. And Bhagwan took a sip of it, and then passed the glass to me. Oh, wow. That's an expression of love in itself, right? And that was so intimate. Yeah. This kind of understanding, this kind of sensitivity and respect for my feeling he showed. Okay. Yeah. But and that is the highest point of love. Well, so, but it's amazing. Like, yeah. you don't even expect that. Like, from, yeah. like in uh, my relationships with other people, like if it was like a romantic relationship, there's certain like intimacies that you would expect. Like, yeah. Because you were giving so much. Yeah. Right? But you didn't even expect You didn't back. expect anything no. back. Yeah. So that's what I think we're but struggling be with a... here. Like, I, if I was giving so much to a person... I think my inclination would be to accept, want things back. No. How did you separate that? I think that. Like, can it be a healthy relationship? I yeah. didn't Isn't separate it? it because there was nothing to separate. Because what I felt, I felt. And it didn't matter. And I understood that every sannyasin loved him, every follower of his loved him. I never judged them what was the category of their love or not my problem, not my business. Yeah. But I respect it. I think, I think maybe you're just a stronger woman than I. Yeah. I mean, definitely a, well, definitely a stronger woman, but also maybe a stronger man. But you no, know what, what it is is that we know relationship only in business terms. 
Uh, very transactional. Yeah. Transactional. I do this, you do this. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Give and take. Yeah. But mother just gives doesn't and gives. have give and That's take. Just gives. Mother gives. gives. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, maybe later on she says, get married. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but only out of love. <laughs> only out of and love. And control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or maybe she forgets what misery she had yes, exactly. <laughs> by marrying yeah, yeah. you know or she's like or she's like i've got this happy. misery you're too yeah, happy yeah, yeah, get yeah. married get and married, then you yeah, won't yeah. be happy anymore yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but like yeah if you tell your mom i went to see free love guru yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, when sheila. are you getting married to sheila that's what she's yeah. saying yeah yes <laughs> but it is this transaction we have to stop. Yeah, yeah but that's actually... But see, so, yeah, my theory around... Was around, like, moving beyond this transactional yeah, thing is that we give with... and take so much to the point that the notion of giving and taking dissolves. What happens is also the level of generosity we mm-hmm. each have is not so much... And in love, you have to be generous. Okay. You have to give. Okay. Yeah. But you also yeah. you have to give without receiving. Without receiving. Yeah, you have to. Just uh, really. And if, it is not, you don't even feel you are giving it. Yeah. yeah. It is automatic. It's, automatic. it's like something subconscious. It's like a, it, it just it, comes out of you. But to get to a place like... It is same as a flower with its fragrance. Yeah, it just, it just, oh, it just emanates. Flower blooms, fragrance comes out. Yeah, and even if flower didn't want to give the fragrance... It does. Yeah, it does. It, it cannot stop. But it, so this is something that makes... So when I, I often stop myself, we often stop ourselves from being too loving or too giving because we don't want to give away power. So we just find it hard to correlate yeah. love and power in a relationship I just like I think yeah, but I, that is again this transaction. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, a- and we each have our egos to protect. What will I pro- protect me of Bhagwan? Nothing. Nothing. You just I, I into had. It. I was fully exposed. Yeah. What wow. I felt, I felt. I could not return back from these feelings. Have you ever been so fully exposed with someone else? Yes. Chinmaya. Chinmaya. You see that you... young man? Yes. I loved him also very deeply and dearly. Okay. Uh, he was a Rajneshi, like from Later Europe? on became okay. Rajneshi with me. Okay. And uh, he was my love. Oh, really? Yeah. Whom I married at a very young okay. age. Wow. And uh, I married him. We were living together those days. Indian girls don't I, I live together. Uh, I won't okay. tell Mira. I won't tell I won't Mira. Tell, won't tell no, Mira, Mira, Mira knows, knows now. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, Sheila's sister is very anti-marriage. She's very anti-love and marriage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... <laughs> And we were sitting together one evening having dinner in my small little room in university town where I was staying. And we would discuss our ideology, what we feel, and there. And we were talking about marriage. This is before you went to the commune? Before I went to to meet Bhagwan. Bhagwan, okay. yeah. Yeah. And then we both had against marriage. But we were very big on logic also. Okay? okay? The death so of love. Say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Logic is the opposite to love. Yeah. <laughs> it is not logical to, say, uh, to be against marriage without being married. Yeah, oh, yeah, this is true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you've got to get... Yeah. This is so. How can you... Condemn something when yeah, but you, you don't, don't know have yeah. a first-hand experience. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Let's get married. Oh, that is amazing. That is the best proposal I've ever heard. Yeah, that's, that's how we're going to end up yeah, married, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Like, Next day, 
we went to the registrar's office oh to register. God. Yeah. We got married. We didn't tell anybody. We went to marry to court appointment to make. The judge looks at us both and just says, I can't marry you here in the court. You come tomorrow evening at my house. I will marry you there. Whoa. And then did you go? Yes. <laughs> and we had to bring two witnesses. So oh. Chinmaya's two friends, we took one brother, Chinmaya's brother, and one another friend. And we went to, and this was this beautiful villa in Glenridge, New Jersey. Whoa. Uh, huge villa, and this judge lives totally alone in this villa. And we are, we don't know what to do. We have we come in the right place? <laughs> and then judge uh, comes and uh, he takes uh, to the fireplace and we mar- he married us to in front of his fireplace. Uh, it was a short uh, legal ceremony. And then I burst out in tears because I miss my parents were not there. Oh, yeah. And we had not told anybody. Yeah, even yeah, my yeah. parents we had not told or Chinmaya's uh, parents we had not told. And the judge thought maybe I didn't understand what was going on <laughs> because my English was not good at <laughs> that time. And, and he asked, do you understand what is happening? Because I can stop this now. <laughs> <laughs> I could stop. Wait, wait, do you understand what's happening now? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> No, but maybe marriage was stop. that bad. Marriage is so miserable that within one minute you're already crying. <laughs> no, it, no, that's, that's, what, that, that's what happened? That's what, no, no. <laughs> no, okay. And I told him, no, these are tears of happiness and I want to share it with my parents, but my parents are not here. Oh. And was, and the judge was happy. And then the judge explained he lives alone and he has children of our age. Oh, okay. And uh, the children all have left him. So it was almost like a, he was being a parent. He was being your parent in that yeah. scenario. And yeah. And uh, very disappointed yeah. uh, man in his life. And he could not bear to see us, to marry us in a dry setting of the court. Yeah, rather in this That's beautiful... what he explained to us. Okay. Or did he, would he do that to other people? Like I don't know. Else? I, I never got... had a contact <laughs> again looking... with the judge. Yeah. Oh, you've never had contact since? No, never, never again had a contact with it. But it felt right yeah. that moment uh, yeah. that somebody well saw what we felt. Yeah, and then we. Uh, Chinma is supposed to live one and a half year because of his terminal oh, really. uh, Hodgkin's oh, yeah. disease. Yeah, no, and and those, you knew this when you got married. Huh? Yeah, in those days, the Hodgkin's was yeah. uh, didn't have the uh, chemotherapy and uh, radioactive therapies which one has now. And we then got involved with our life. Then we come to India after finishing school. We won't, and I, his school was not finished, so I go a few weeks earlier uh, to visit my parents. And there I meet up Bhagwan. Oh, so there was was there like an overlap of the love? Uh, no, I I love Chinmaya too. Okay. Yes. But you, you have enough within you to love both. Yes. And I write Chinmaya. Those days when no emails, no nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I write him a letter and I say, oh, I have met this man and I'm madly in love with him. And uh, I'm very open to Chinmaya. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and two weeks later, when Chinmay comes to visit, uh, to India to uh, after his school is finished, and he said he was a bit afraid that he will lose me. Oh, okay. So there's yeah. this sort of ownership in love. But there was no. It wasn't uh, jealousy though. That was his his situation, but he was he fell in love with Bhagwan Bhagwan as well. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> who didn't? Who did it? Yeah. yeah, I feel yeah. like I'm a little bit in yeah. love with Bhagwan. I think everyone. Yeah, is. yeah. I mean, like, yeah, yeah. And he fell in love with Bhagwan, and then things were not complicated anymore. Oh, really? Maybe, maybe what amazing. she's telling us really is we need to fall in love with a higher power. And then yeah. we can maybe love not higher or lower. Oh, the same. Except love for love, okay. without comparing, without Compa- yeah. Fe- yeah, okay. feeling That's the biggest threatened, thing, isn't it? without feeling jealous. Just yeah. accept it. But then yeah. why? Like, so I guess the thing which seems complicated is like sex, right? Yes. So I mean, I think nowadays there's a lot of. I mean, I guess it's quite an old concept, but this idea of polyamory and trying to move past this jealousy and stuff. But yes. sex does seem to complicate things, right? I... Well, that's because how we are exposed to sex. Yeah. Okay. Sex is no big deal, but mm. we have made it a this big, big deal thing. Yeah. because. We need to sell of condoms. Of the Christianity. <laughs> well, yeah, okay. we're taught from a okay. young age that love is sex, right? That there's and well, like it's the, immoral, right? Yeah. The situation is they want security yeah. hmm. and loyalty. Yeah. Now, when you have security, you can hold on to. It becomes competition. Hmm. You are married with somebody... Your wife becomes a policewoman, then a <laughs> lover. Okay, yeah. She doesn't want to lose her security with you. Or you don't want to lose your security Easy. with her. You want to have it exclusively. And what is this free sex business? What is Sex. Yeah. Why is why are you paying for sex? Yeah. <laughs> it, when you have to pay with being exclusive with your wife, you're giving exclusive rights of her. <laughs> yeah. Then the copyright remains only with your wife. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're paying yeah. much more yeah, yeah. there than you're going away. And enjoying somebody yeah. else. But see, people have totally distorted the idea of the sexuality. The sexuality has become a tool to hold on. Like a power. Power. Yeah. We have to move on from these feelings, this uh, waste stage of feelings. It is not environmental. <laughs> it's not environmental. We need to be environmentally That's a friendly. Very, yeah, 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 we need right. to be environmentally friendly. <laughs> but, I, but I think, I guess the, the issue is that when you, any kind of intense feeling yeah. or intense intimacy or connection with somebody, yeah. then there's, there develops an attachment to that, right? And then once you've got that attachment, you want to can, like, maintain it. But she's saying and we need to break free. Break free, yeah. Attachment. You have to be, uh, break free. Yeah. Free, yeah. and you cannot eat the whole day chocolates yeah. because you like <laughs> chocolate. Yeah, that's this true. is such a good analogy. <laughs> that is a very so good analogy. Good. Okay. Yeah, okay. and say yeah, that I will so not good. eat anything else but chocolate. Okay. So this, Maybe that's what Forrest Gump was trying to say. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, this is... Ri- and you yeah. will understand the value of chocolate only when... You try other chocolate. Yeah, you have tried biscuits. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can you can go a little further than biscuits. We can go like so it's you, fascinating. coleslaw. Because you were really saying that you know if I sleep with someone else, I'll value my yeah. wife more. Uh, Not, take more, care huh? of your health issues when you are in habit of exploring other people. 
take care of the health issues. Don't get contagious diseases. Yeah, yeah. Protect yeah. yourself. But also don't get in cerebral com- complex confusion. Cerebral complex confusion. That's the most cerebral yeah, yeah, complex yeah. confusing <laughs> thing you've said. So, so, so can you have <laughs> sex without an emotional attachment with someone? Yeah. Why? Why? What? What do, Why you, do you have? To? Against emotional attachment. Yeah. Well, um, Why can't you have sex with emotion? But my yeah. fear is always if I have sex with emotion, I develop this connection with someone. Then you won't then have I, desire for others. And then I'll have my cerebral no. conflict. No. Then confusion. automatically, when you are in love, you are in love. Yeah. <laughs> and then you don't have this, that... I want this or I want that. Yeah, this, mm. is, this is it, actually. I mean, this is yeah. actually what, what I struggle with. Is like, I am actually quite, I think I've realized recently, like, I'm quite good at having intimate relationships like with people. And it doesn't have to be sustained. It can be momentary. Yeah. But people take that very seriously. Like as if it's... A, yeah, maybe they're not used like, to the intimacy, yeah. though. Because we're very like, open. And like you said, that level of joyous. connection, yeah. Like, a lot of people find it. But remain joyous and... Be a flower, let your uh, fragrance yeah, go. We, we're not in control of it, right? Without condition. But it can cause a lot of pain, right? Yeah. If, if other pain people are getting attached. Hope. Like, so if. But see, these are beautiful orchids. Yeah. You are sharing it, I am sharing it, everyone who comes through this door sees them and says, yeah. Beautiful orchid, and enjoys it. Yeah, and even if it's only temporary, at least they've enjoyed it. Now, does it matter to orchid that I'm looking at it? Yeah, no, that's true. I guess we. mm. You are looking at it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we need to ask the orchid, really. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But but yeah, it's true. No, but no, but is it true? Can we cause that? Can we be so oblivious to people looking at us? Can we? Can, can I enjoy someone and then take myself away and let them live with just the memory? No, you. why do you put so much uh, okay. analysis in it? Or the, <laughs> just be? Uh, the, I call it in simple term, mind-fucking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mind fucking myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Our podcast does a lot of mind fucking. Yeah, yeah, we're, but we're conscious of it, I think. I can put huh? it even more bluntly hand job. <laughs> okay, hand job. Oh, yeah, yeah, because it's just you're a master bit. Why are yeah, you yeah. wasting time mm. for so much? But I more importantly, wa- I semen. Wasting time. Why are you <laughs> wasting semen? Yeah, yeah, I'm wasting time. I mean, you're two capable young people. Enjoy your moment for what it is now. Yeah. This is okay. This is very That's profound. True. Yeah. Yeah. No, but this is actually quite a life changing chat. Yeah. I think yeah. Because so. maybe maybe I do mind fuck myself. I do. I, we do. We, we do, do this do. for sure. Yeah. We mind fuck. We like. And to I'm truly like everything that we do. Yeah. But I definitely like. I think we're both pro this idea of um, moving away from rationality because the truth of life lives not within the rational. But it in lives the, within like sort space. of nego- slight negotiation between the rational and the ineffable. Yeah. So what's amazing to me is, you know, when I ask someone what love is and they say it felt right, it was like this feeling, I'm like, this is stupid. Like... No, I'm it. with that. What? No, but explain it in words. But then when you're saying it's this feeling, it kind of makes sense. Like, I think yeah. I understand it more, but I don't know but, why. But, but, so what I don't get is yeah. that, yeah, yeah. I don't, like, isn't it, in isn't order to it, have this feeling, is there not something we need to cultivate yes. as people? Yeah, like, can, I, can I just walk into a room and feel this, or do I need to? I think so. So it, it just, it it's is just bestowed a, upon it you. It is right? a yeah. feeling 
that comes from nowhere or from everywhere. Yeah, because you didn't go into the room wanting to no. love Bhagwan. You no. just wanted to. I had you, no idea. Just like, boom. It was. It just descended on me. Yeah. So then there's. And uh, this is what makes it so profound. And this profound feeling has given me the energy to do what I was able to do it. It was this profound feeling made me creative. The love is energizing, yeah. Because a lot yeah. of times we're in relationships it where we find it draining. It doesn't bog you down. Yeah, it it's doesn't en- energizing. It. And it was just like always energizing. Always the same. Always the same. Wow. Always the same. Yeah, because a lot of my, I mean, I've a lot of my issue is like when I when I'm in a relationship or something, I'm in a highly creative yeah. uh, state. So I like mostly like I paint and I write a lot, yeah. and I I go into these like, but it's almost like this person's amused to me, and I just create at like insane paces. But then it does feel like I'm ungrounded. Yeah. So I'm all. And most of my life, I feel quite abstract. I live in the yeah. that kind of very vata sort of state, um, but I, and I feel like I never touch the ground. But it something bothers me about that. But I don't know if it's because I haven't. Really, yeah, but that's true I, love. I was really grounded yeah, also. Exactly. The grounding in me comes genetic. Oh, really? My mother was a practical woman. And I was very pra- practical. And this practicality comes also l- from the base of love. Oh, wow. Yeah. So that's, my that's really mother fascinating. Yeah. loved my father so that... She raised six children. Yeah, Man, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I asked my mother, How did, did you, you guys do? didn't have any other entertainment <laughs> that you had to create six, six mo- monsters? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the TV was not working. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are they all international and criminals? And my mother <laughs> took such a care of my father and took care of us. It was incredible. So when you are based in love, you think of the other. The other becomes prominent. And you disappear. This is my fear, I think. Because we were saying true love is when you dissolve your own ego and you think of the other. But maybe I'm... I don't You're scared of losing I'm yourself. I'm scared of losing myself. I'm scared of becoming the other. But you don't lose yourself. You, you become yourself. Uh, you, true yourself. you become one. Yeah, that's... How can you lose? Like the Spice Girls. <laughs> when two, one, you become one, right? Yeah, you don't... I never felt that I lost myself. You felt you gained? You I felt, never felt... I gained the just, whole community. Yeah, that's true. You definitely yeah, gained yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> know, yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. didn't just have Bhagwan. I had his whole community. But th- that much influence didn't, like, uh, go to your head or ego or didn't inflate? No? Had no time for it. <laughs> yeah, but she was still loving Bhagwan. <laughs> yeah, you were working Bhagwan. very hard. Yeah, yeah. And so, I uh, had no time. You didn't know my schedule. People don't know what I was and how I worked. So this is why we struggle to find love, because we have too much free time. Yeah, too much free time. If, I, if we were busier, then we would be in love. With and uh, you, yeah. what happens a lot of time, the young people, uh, they don't fall in love, but it becomes also... Peer competition. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And it becomes habitual. They're, they're, right? they're mun- multidimensional issues. Yeah. Uh, she has a boyfriend. Now I have to go get the a boyfriend. boyfriend. Exactly. They're getting engaged. Right. Now we have to get engaged. Right. Yeah. She's getting married. She has to have this, this, this. I have to have yeah, this, this, this. this, this. this. Yeah. My father was very clear. We were four sisters. The relatives were pressuring my mother. When are you going to look for 
husbands. husbands for your daughter. My mother said, speak to my husband. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> she was very intelligent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Husband says, speak and to my wife. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly the way you should go. Yeah. My father would say, I am not going to marry the husbands. They have to live with them. Yeah. They should find their own. So, plus my husband, uh, my father was totally against the whole Indian tradition of marriage. And uh, finding some Muratyo because he has few papers in the bank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whether their chemistry matches, their exactly, personality yeah. matches, yeah, yeah. nothing. Parents yeah. uh, do that. My father respected us. Very open father, especially for back. My then. father yeah. was ahead of his time yeah. 50 years. And then you're ahead of your time now. Yeah. Yes. Because I learned from them. Right. Yeah, yeah. And my mother, yeah. so intelligent. In those days, she went to university. Ooh, and yeah. she was considered beauty of Baroda University. That's my mother's photo and my father's yeah. photo. So we, we were looking at them. They yeah. are very yeah. beautiful. Uh, yeah. you know. There's a lot of amazing photos. Yeah. yeah. We've been discussing love for about 40 minutes, and you haven't mentioned... Your two marriages that you've had. You since mentioned Bangwan. the first one, right? No, but not these two. The two other ones. No, you. No, uh, I didn't mention because I was with them also out of love, and it's not. Uh, it when we were together, we were together, and when it was not possible because the feelings changed, they went their way. I went my way. Because we've always okay. been taught, like, but then, sort of, you know, like this sort of, there's only one true love. Well, there's mm-hmm. one love. But it's amazing that you seem to have had more than one love. Yeah. But, then, but then why did, you get, why did you get married? If you, I mean, the first time you said, because... It was <laughs> not logical. Not, not logical. <laughs> right. But then... Th- okay, this, uh, this one marriage with this American... Mm-hmm. No, no, thank you. American man, I lost a bet. <laughs> 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 this is <laughs> Mira, very angry. This is, this is amazing. Mira does not want to hear this story. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> so good. Only in Chinmay, okay? No, I'm not talking about Chinmay. Ah, okay. I'm okay. talking about Jay. <laughs> Mira does not like Jay. Mira like does not it. like Jay. <laughs> I have never. I only like Chinmay. Chinmay. Yeah. He was the true husband. Really? Okay. Yes. What so about Bhagwan? First love is the true love. Bhagwan is not Mira. a marriage. No, but you, but you, you're, you're pro Bhagwan. Or... Yeah, Bhagwan's love. If you guys think about what I think that she had the love for Bhagwan, you know, Gopias, Gopi, Krishna's Gopi. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So what Gopi had feeling for Krishna? That was the love that uh, she and Bhagwan had. Okay. You but that's, but, that's, but you didn't have the same love. No, but that's a really beautiful analogy because we went no, to a Krishna I temple and it was Gopi and Krishna nobody. together. Okay. And that's it what it was between you and Bhagwan, right? People saw you Whatever the together. Men you I could not separate us. Life, yeah. The, it was an infatuation. That was not the love. Otherwise, I would have... Crazy enough to marry. <laughs> but I never got crazy. Okay. It's time yeah. you become are crazy. They, yeah, yeah. Are they, uh... So do you have to be crazy <laughs> to get married? Is that what you're telling us? Because we're already crazy. She told you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, so what was the bet? Well, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, we need to know, know the, the story. About I, I yeah. don't know. The bet was very... Uh, uh, <laughs> still see, we were flying together. Yeah. This was uh, the man who was in love with me for a while. Didn't know. And uh, I didn't know. 
Okay. Right. And I was in a, a, visiting a center of Bhagwan in New Jersey. And we all met, sat together, we gossiped, we talked, because I come from Poon Ashram and everybody's curious to hear oh, yeah, what's Bhagwan. going on yeah, yeah. with Bhagwan and things. And we talked, we had wine, everything. And I had next morning, I have to go somewhere. So I said, Guys, goodbye. I'm going to bed. I went to bed and I was uh, happily sleeping there. And then around middle of the night, somebody comes in the... And I thought they they left something in the room they will take and go away. And suddenly somebody... Uh, gets in under my please go it's pornography (laughs) (laughs) okay be quiet (laughs) this is my sister (laughs) (laughs) Mira is not interested in this Mira never likes I don't tell her I didn't like that guy okay I don't want to hear about it (laughs) And uh, this uh, this man uh, pushes me over in the bed and gets into the bed with me. And I said, okay. I say to myself in my head, he shows courage. <laughs> oh I like the way you think, Sheila. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? yeah, yeah, it's very different to most very, people. Yeah, this is yeah. not like, yeah. Okay, I, I mean... So we spent the night together, enjoyed each other's company and uh, sexual contact too. And then uh, I was there maybe 10 days uh, or whatever till my work was finished before I go back to Pune Ashram and he chooses to come with me, fly back with me to Pune. So it's okay. And every chance he gets, he says, marry me. Marry me. He was 42 years old and I was 28, 29 year old, something like that, or mm-hmm. in 27, 28 year old. And I would say, no. <laughs> uh, it's not every chance. Here it is. But then we talk about something while flying uh, over some stupid uh, statistics or some stupid information. I don't even remember the information anymore. And uh, he says, I bet you what you're saying is not the way it is. I said, okay, I'm ready to bet. <laughs> so he says, when you lose, you marry me. And when I lose, I will not ask you to marry again. Oh, so you were like, yes, okay. this, is, this is the ideal scenario for you, right? Yeah, yeah. That's it. so I said, okay. Yeah. And I lost. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> but How we, long were you married for? We were married four years, five years then. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And was there love? Uh, w- yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I, I Some don't love. know. Some but, love. Uh, and then what happens is, it's fine. I thought this is a joke, you know. Yeah. But he was very serious. He was very serious. <laughs> Not only that, he gets the captain of the ship, uh, the flight. Yeah, I heard we are flying over neutral territory. <laughs> he says, Captain can marry us. What? Why? Oh, because it's international waters or like... The... No, we were in the uh, air. Oh. oh, Captain of the plane. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, captain yeah. of yeah, the yeah, yeah. And the Captain agreed, I am sitting there like <laughs> this. There are two people who were... Uh, he asked the two people sitting behind... Can you be our uh, witnesses? Witness, yeah. witnesses? Yeah, yeah. And there was uh, one 
they were Japanese, and they wrote in Japanese. I still remember that piece of paper. He he pulled out his uh, pad, yeah, and he wrote contract of marriage in it. What? Oh my gosh! In Japanese. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, no, uh, J uh, wrote it in English. Oh, okay. And then uh, this Japanese signed in Japanese. It was a very, cre- a very beautiful mm-hmm. piece of paper. Then the captain wrote, stewardess signed. Uh, and uh, because he was a businessman, so he, he wrote out. The, and... Uh, this is how okay, we're going to end up married. Right. I'm going to lose a bet. Your, your yeah, stories yeah. are just... Yeah, yeah. But I, so this is... But did you, you didn't think it was a I joke, right? I, I you write it about yeah. it in my book. I'm not sure. Did I or not? I, I wrote the book so many years. <laughs> okay. We definitely need to read that yeah, book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I should have We've heard all the stories. Now. Yeah. yeah, but also, yeah. so that, that spontaneity... Yeah. It seems in keeping with, you know, the love that you felt instantly for Bhagwan. So... It does make sense it, in that regard. And yeah. it was also, you lose a bet. Yeah, <laughs> at least you're a man, like a woman of your well, word. She, she's yeah. In, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was always uh-huh. in Oregon. The she's people who did business mm-hmm. with me used to say, gold price can change, but Sheila's she word well. doesn't change. Okay. So in That's some amazing. ways, she's very normal in society. And no. it's very but it because like admirable. everything that we've like you know heard or read about you, it's just seemed yeah. very like you just live by your own code. Yeah, I like, do. I do. Like, but you, so you are very I resolute do. in your opinions. Yeah. I do. Yeah. See, yeah. I think yeah. if I have to tell a story like this, I tell my sister, "You go out." I know. Her. <laughs> Mira is not impressed yeah, yeah. with that story. <laughs> no. She was not impressed. Mira is a very. <laughs> Straight. Uh, well, I mean, you, no, say, you say that, but she's also... She will get along well with your mother. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 I, but, I, no but at the I, same I, time, she hasn't married or anything. She's yeah. anti-married. That's quite untraditional, especially yeah. from like a... No, but she's Indian. famous. Yeah, she's very, you're both very resilient. You have your opinions, but you, you stick to them. Yeah. And that's where we really struggle. I seem to yeah. change my opinion every day. Yeah. We doubt, we doubt. I think I yeah. read, uh, heard something that you said that, you know, doubt is like poison or yeah. very like... Yeah, uh, like, doubt... When I understood Bhagwan very clearly, one time I was in doubt mode in my brain. I go to Bhagwan and I say something and I doubt. Mm-hmm. And Bhagwan said, Sila, when you are in doubt, say yes. Oh, oh is that why you married? Uh, yeah. <laughs> is that why you did the bet? Yeah, I, no, but doubt. that was clear. If I lose I a bet, I lose a bet. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was clear. And then for your but, second marriage, did you lose another bet? Or no, no, that was a normal. No, okay. no, that was more normal. No. Okay. That mm. was with the Swiss man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. as ah, so you have had the, there's three marriages. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> one as a tester. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one, one, one as one a bet. Logic, <laughs> one as a bet, and then one, and one was normal. Okay. Uh, uh, he was, um, I guess. That was also not totally normal. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I remember I was sitting in my office in Pune Ashram and I see a man about 70 meters from the gate coming in. I said, my God, I like... I like the way he looks. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Could you even see him that clearly? Or was it just an yeah, outline? Yeah, from there. Oh, it's okay. It's like I had a glass in my office. Oh, and okay. Then, yeah. And then it uh, turned out that I was in, um, uh, in Europe at that time. He, he took care of European uh, commune here. Oh, okay, he was okay. one of my assistants. I didn't know him, but I, I liked him in 81. Oh, wow. And I married him in 84. Okay. So he, like, just that one fleeting moment made such an impression and, on you. Yeah. And uh, then it, it still manifested itself yeah. three years later. And, and that uh, love still he, remains. He was the, homosexual. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. He had never had a woman for a, yeah, a girlfriend yeah. or the, no affinity. 
And then I come here and we are driving uh, to Monte Carlo, mm -hmm. a short break in my very busy press conferences yeah, yeah. and so on. And on this beautiful ride to Monte Carlo from Switzerland, I fell in uh, and I told him about this story and there he then expressed that he had felt very special towards me. No way. No so, way I just, wow. so I think you were in the same way that we seem to be almost closed off to this instant feeling of love. Theodore is so open to it. Spontaneous. Yeah, you're so yeah. open to the spontaneous yeah. attraction and spontaneous. Yeah. And I think that's like, it adds love though. Yeah, so I that, think that's where. So I'm open to it, but I just don't necessarily interpret it as love. Yeah, we interpret it as love. Well, you get analyzing of it. Yeah, we analyze it. Yeah. There are no practical considerations in it or permanent desire to hold on to somebody. Yeah, unless it's a bet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unless you've your word. Your word is all you have, Sheila. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. One. Exactly. I hold on to it. You yeah, hold yeah, on yeah, to yeah. it. So, okay, so, yeah. Yeah. so for me, this is what's really interesting. Is like after everything, you still everything that's happened, so there's no, there was no anger, no yeah. resentment, nothing. You, look you still have me. pictures. I was sad. Home. I was yeah. sad. But sadness didn't lead to anger. It didn't lead to, you know, no. a separation. No. I think no. Like in, within you, it just... Because uh, he was very upset with you, right? Yeah. He oh, no. had to be upset yeah. also with me because he relied on me for everything. Okay. Even the light bulb to be changed in his <laughs> room, <laughs> he would tell, if I'm traveling, he would tell my assistant, say, Savita, wait till Sila comes. <laughs> To change the language. And uh, she, yeah. my assistant would call up and say, Bhagwan doesn't trust me. Even to change, organize to change light bulb. So maybe the love okay. was more reciprocated than we realize. Maybe there was real love between the both of you, both ways. Uh, I have no doubts about it. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't worry about it either. No, I don't yeah. worry about it. I have no doubts about it. And I know what I felt and what I feel. Yeah, and what do you, yeah. And for me, that is plenty. I don't need anyone's opinion of me or my relationship with Bhagwan. No one can make me, no one can break me. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. And that's such a healthy attitude towards love. Maybe no, yeah. If no one can make you or break you, then the love that you're giving, it doesn't matter what you're getting. And if yeah. somebody rejects my love, that is not my problem. Well, I think it doesn't seem to happen a lot. In but all of your stories, no one seems to have reject. really rejected you. Yeah. Well, did Bhagwan reject, did, like, reject your love? Well, or? Uh, but it seems like they had the love. But uh, then we it, had the love. Yeah. But it's still like, But we came to a point where I was not ready to compromise. And that's something you have to understand very clearly. Bhagwan asked me to protect him, protect his commune, protect his teachings. Okay. When this situation became dire, when I found out that he was taking drugs and I confronted him and I was the only one who confronted him in his life, nobody ever. Yeah. And that also shows the purity of our love. Yeah, and the fact that it was both ways, right? That shows that it was both yeah. ways. Yeah. And I was, I went and explained Explain to him the ramification, legal, medical, yeah. practical ramifications. And he said, you don't get involved in it. Now, I have integrity. Integrity I have learned from these two wonderful people, my parents. Yeah. that he gives me a job to do, 
and I am careless, no, it doesn't work. Plus, what I felt for Bhagwan, the love I felt, was my biggest strength. It was not my weakness. And somewhere I thought, Sheila will do what I tell. She won't leave me. But that is where I say it's time for me to go. The love I felt was not my weakness. That was my strength. Don't underestimate the power of love. Now, often people ask me, Sheila was in power struggle or power game, etc., power trip. When it would have been that, I could not walk away. Okay. Okay? Yeah. After I came out of prison, he sent me a message, you can come back. No and way. you will have your own position back. No way. And what did you say? I have nothing to say. <laughs> I was not with him to have my position. I did not ask for that position before, and I'm not going to ask for it then. And to create a power, if I need it, I can create my own. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I think that's very yeah, yeah. Clear. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's clear. I think that's very clear that you can create your own power. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. What do I need him for? Yeah, that? yeah, I think that's very true. Yeah. So people have to learn to think about it. People can, people can call me international criminal, they can call me free sex or whatever. Makes no difference. It's really fascinating to me because we we all call you just like one of the kindest people that we've ever met. Yeah, but it also we believe in you for an hour. Yeah, but that that also means that it makes no difference to you what we call you in a positive or a negative light. And that sort of strength, quite like you, actually. Yeah, but this sort of strength, like I think I I try and I try and have the same strength, but it's. But it's because you're resolute in who you are. Right? Yeah, you're so you're so conscious of who you are. Like nothing can destabilize you. And yeah. this crystallization of myself comes from the love I feel for everyone, or for Bhagwan, especially. Just it began with crystallizing when I met Bhagwan or mm. Chinmaya. Okay. Yeah, but it's cause and Do effect. You... Like, it is the fact that she's. You're so resolute in who you are that enables you to love everyone, or the fact that you love everyone that makes you, resolute. Oh, makes yeah. you resolute. Like, which is, or is it just which, way, yeah, which, which way around would you which say? Which way around is it? Doesn't matter. Life is a circle. <laughs> life, is, <laughs> life is a circle. Be an orchid. Yeah, yeah. Be an life orchid. is a circle. Yeah, be yeah, an yeah. orchid. Right? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, look at beautiful yeah, orchids. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is an amazing orchid. They are sitting here for the last three months and still doing. Beautiful. Are they real or are they fake? They're real. Oh, they're real. Okay, good. <laughs> real, real. What kind of question is this? Well, I mean, also it's a podcast. We could be. There could be no orchids. Yeah, there could no. be no, no orchids. There is actual mm-hmm. orchids here. They're real. Yeah, they're real. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I guess. I mean, <laughs> I do. The thing is, you probably get asked this all the time, but I yeah. do want to know this. Like, uh, well, firstly, all the uh, all the allegations, like, true. Yeah, but also we don't care but about we don't. that. But this, this is, even if they are, why does that? Yeah, matter? we don't. We don't no, care. But like, no, let's see. I think the regret. What I want to ask is, if you regret anything, why would I regret anything in my life? Look at my life. Yeah, it's a good. It life. is a good life. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. What is there to regret that I met a one in a lifetime genius and lived life with him, fell in love with him, created a beautiful city? together with him, have a wonderful parents, wonderful family. I Just, have a, thank you. with luck, fairly okay intelligence. What, what should I regret? Tell me. Nothing. No, this is exactly it. But like, yeah. 
Maybe you're it's thinking interesting. of remorse. Maybe you're thinking of remorse. Do you show remorse but it's, for the for maybe the pain that people perceived that, but that you caused? Which them. people perceived the pain? Yeah, that's Please true. Yeah, tell yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People who have to regret is the Oregonian, not me. Yeah. You understand for their bigotry and their disrespect for yeah. human race. Yeah, yeah. People who ask me this question about the criminality, they all need to use their intelligence. Yeah, but maybe that's Think kind of why about we have interest. Yeah, the yeah. whole legal system, yeah. all the politics. Yeah, so much it's, just, uh, it's a mess. At the time, yeah. think about the situation. I was landed in it, and then try to separate milk from water. Yeah. It was a muddled up situation by Bhagwan. Bhagwan created the scandal to hold on to his population, his followers, because without his followers, his existence would go down. Did he become too dependent on his followers, do you think? He was. He was too dependent because followers brought the financial hey. benefit. Yeah. Okay. Look at who walked away from that. Okay? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean. <laughs> who took the risk if a criminal was there, wouldn't take the risk. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the sentencing guidelines. Look yeah, at the yeah. charges. Yeah. When they were so, what they say, I have crimi- uh, uh, my criminality, then it would not be settled with four and a half years of imprisonment. Well, yeah. I think the biggest thing for us is like, you felt so much love. Do, do yeah. you understand? Yeah. To fight a case like that with my kind of negative publicity, yeah. Yeah. I had no chance. chance. This yeah. was also quite Back a while then. ago, yeah, like yeah. racism and, and everything. Yeah, you're a brown Megatory person in a very white part yeah. of the country. Very white. Yeah. Or othered, like you're especially othered in that kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. situation because you have weird philosophies as well. Yeah, yeah. And also right. you have an Indian accent. You are very different to the local. Yeah. So how yeah. are you going to... Balance it. Where was the fairness? When lawyers tell you that minimum cost fighting these cases will be over two million, I have walked away with zero in my pocket. Where am I going to get two million? Please think of it, okay? You have no choice but to plead Guilt. and have yeah. a plea agreement. Yeah, yeah, which is. And again, thank God, my mother's practicality is in my genes. I look at the situation, dire situation I was in. I say, okay, we do plea bargain. Yeah, yeah. People have to think about it. But I know the average yeah. people don't, don't have the intelligence <laughs> to think about themselves. Mm. What are they going to think about somebody else? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just, I mean, it's, 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 it's words, also just right? quite nice. Yeah. Like, people like to, like, create villains and heroes yeah. and, like, exactly. very binary figures. Yeah. Like, was, uh, you were very easy to create a villain back then. Yeah. In, you know, you're Indian, you're in a white part of the world. Very yeah. easy to paint you as the villain. If you think... What happened to us, Rajneesh, is in 1980s is exactly what is happening to Democrats and 
people of different color and different religion in Trump era. Yeah. At that time was Reagan Bush, same Republican, same Republican Philosophy. Senate in yeah. Oregon. Some of the names I see, Thank Chuck you. Grassley in Senate, uh, U.S. Senate right yeah. now. He was then no. also a senator. Oh, really? oh, wow. Uh, the, uh, then this Lindsey Graham, he was also. Uh, Lindsey Graham was Then okay. McConnell. I, I know all these characters. Oh, wow. Really? Oh, okay. So it's interesting. The stories are just the same. They haven't even changed the characters. No. They haven't even changed the characters. Some have changed, yeah, yeah, but, but not some are all. Still the same. Yeah. But there is a large amount of characters are still the same. So people have to get grip on themselves. Yeah. Yeah. By calling somebody international criminal, they don't <laughs> become international criminals. Yeah. And by calling somebody a saint, they don't become saint. Yeah. yeah. Look at your churches. How many pedophilias do you have? <laughs> True. Tell me about it. Look at your pundits yeah. in India. What do they do, do behind their doors? Yeah. Closed yeah. doors. No. Yeah. At least I'm not accused of those things. <laughs> yeah. And your yeah. doors are very and open I as well. I feel yeah. very yeah. good about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Well, your doors are very your open. Doors as well. are very Anyone open. can come and ask you about any yeah. aspect of your life. And yeah. maybe that's maybe that's what scares people though. The fact that you can discuss these things with such honesty. Maybe people expect you to be more evasive. Right. Mm. Yeah, maybe people want... Yeah. And I'm not afraid of it. No. Even in the film, I don't know if you've seen the film or not, yeah. The yeah. Wild Wild Country. Yeah, yeah. We've, yeah, we've seen it. Yeah. Even the FBI agent says he himself had interviewed Sheila and she answered every question of mine. Yeah. yeah. Well, even this, yeah, we yeah, this podcast, some... and you're quite like straightforward about things. Yeah, you've uh, answered all of our no, questions. Yeah, not too many hand jobs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mind facts. Unfortunately, mind, mind facts. yeah, yeah. yeah there's still, still time. Yeah, there's still yeah. time. Now, if you both lose your home because your mama throws <laughs> yeah, yeah. you out, <laughs> I'm not responsible. Don't worry. Our parents can't understand that podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. They're, they're like, you. They're like this you. is nonsense. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, it's okay. We're moving in here, right? If we get yeah, 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 yeah. Here. absolutely. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> you know how to take care of old people. You yeah. know how to take care mm -hmm. of. Uh, yeah. I am both. Yeah, okay. yeah. Mental health and old people. We can, we can do something. And I'm okay. getting old also. Okay. okay, perfect. Oh, so that was your end game for this podcast. Yeah, yeah. You get these two Indian guys to come and take care, take care of, of you. you. Indians exactly. take care of Indians. Indians right? Yeah, That's yeah. It. That's the. Oh, so maybe we should wrap things up. I think. Yeah. I think we've we've. Yeah, yeah. But so. First of all, thank you so much yeah. for allowing us to have this discussion. Yeah, with this you. was amazing. And I do think I've learned a lot about love from you. Like, we just seem to have some ideas, do seem to have really clicked. I don't know, what do you think? Like, yeah, I think for me, that what was really interesting is the idea of love just being from like one party, yeah. of like just giving. Because every time I've tried to frame it in my head, it's all about this getting to this state of symbiosis yeah. where we're in mutuality with each but other. She's just but you're just, just saying giving. like it's one person, just keep you just giving. keep giving. And then, also and then the, so lo the other person's love is their person's love. Like yeah. that's their That's battle. their problem. Right, yeah. And it's nothing, it's almost like it has nothing to do with you, right? You no. just keep giving. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, I don't know like, if I mean, I think there needs to be some sort of, you need to work on some sort of open, you need to be open to this love, right? Or no, it just fucking comes through and yeah. penetrates. I didn't have to work on anything. It okay. just flew. just came. It just flew through. Okay, yeah. But also, yeah. really Bagwan's pretty, uh, uh, pretty powerful easy to love. presence, yeah, though, right? Maybe I we found the right Bagwan. person yeah. to flow to. Yeah, but, okay. wait, wait, but even with the uh, the Swiss gentleman, it just came, right? You saw yeah, but like uh, Bagwan like opened something up, right? Oh, like it seemed like her. it opened the floodgates or something. No, yeah. but also she was in love with Chin Maya before. Chin Maya, I was in love with. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Right? I was uh, in love with Deepu, yeah. the Swiss guy. Even Jay, in the, yeah. uh, we had a wonderful time together. With Jay? Oh, yeah, yeah. Jay, the guy the who best. I loved the best. the best. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, but what's interesting is that love grounded her 
we see love so much as a destabilizing force in our lives. Yeah. But it really grounded you. It did. And that's the idea that I'm really trying to resonate yeah. with. Like, well, I maybe, think like our love with our parents is quite grounding, right? Yeah, but that's a different kind of love, I think. The love that you no, have. No, but I think. There are no different kinds. No, there's just one love. Type of love is love. Love yeah, is yeah. love. Love and, I, and I think the thing is that yeah. we've got so many other things going on yeah, 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 in yeah. this sphere of love. Yeah. Like, but also, like she, yeah, yeah. But like she said, we just mindfuck ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just mindfuck ourselves, yeah, yeah. right? So we just Our parents have never given us a handjob. That's, <laughs> that's what it comes down <laughs> to. Yeah, well, there is a deficit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there is a deficit. <laughs> There's a deficit. But Not thank enough God for that deficit. Then thank God, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think that's a perfect list there. Is, there. is there one parting message you'd like to give to us, Sile, before we end this? I would say, you two charming young men. Oh, this is too nice. <laughs> but that's true. Ah, oh, that you. comes direct from my heart. Okay, very kind. Thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. <laughs> Remain open, and when you choose subjects, choose subject that doesn't create confusion for confused people. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I think that's what our podcast is. Confusion yeah, yeah. for confused people. We just want to mind fuck everyone. Yeah. Hand job everyone. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No. Maybe we can uh, we'll come back and interview you in a year and let Do you know. Do that. Let, uh, come we'll back you know. anytime. Yeah, yeah. And if you're just uh, looking for a uh, way out of bored life, come <laughs> and we will yeah. sit together and right. have yeah, a dinner yeah. together yeah, okay. of course. Amazing. Well, we'll let you know if we find love because of your definition of love maybe we'll stop yeah, overthinking yeah. what yeah. love is I think we'll, we're, we're definitely going to make a bet yes, exactly. we're going to marry whoever the bet says and then we'll just send, <laughs> we'll just send her to you to no, say, I, <laughs> go, I, go I, stay with Sheila I'll send a group WhatsApp message I'll be like does anyone want to make a bet with me yeah, about yeah. getting married yeah, and I'll let you know if anyone says okay, that's yeah. very dangerous you, <laughs> he has too many responses <laughs> but uh, yeah I think the main thing is just thank you thank you yeah this you has are, been an amazing day first ever guest yeah. and this has gone so well like uh, yeah. wonderful thank you so really much amazing. yeah